any sound? Do you know what? I'm going to move on and assume that the next one will have some sound back. Apologies for that. Um, the, the point about that at the end, it just says life is for sharing. And it was a, the last song was Welcome Home and lots of people coming in. The point there really is that there's a moment where we create uh, an event that captures a home truth. And T-Mobile can then own a part of that home truth and give its voice to it that people like to share things. And it's a higher order thought than just the bits and pieces the, of the, the offers of the free texts or the services, but they're inextricably linked. It saw a 51% increase in Facebook fans. T-Mobile is the most viewed branded channel on YouTube at the moment. That was the third of a, of a trilogy that ran over three years um, and had 9.9 .9 million YouTube hits. Um, ye yesterday, the question was posed or, or posited act versus ad, and I would reply that they're both they're, they're, they're symbiotic. There is a role for advertising, it's just changed. The real paradigm is in the media strategy. Ideas need to be put out there one way or another to set the thing going. So just as a, a retort to yesterday's, uh, one of yesterday's thoughts. But you know, all of this operates in the context of the world we live in. And the world we live in isn't exactly a very optimistic place. Um, you know, we all tend to uh, consume the world through the lens of the media. And the lens of the media is determined by the media agenda. And it strikes me, certainly in Europe and to a degree the United States, and to a degree, a lesser degree here in, in, in consuming the media, that they seem determined to set us the prism of fear and, uh, and um, misery, uh, you know, and it's in that context. Every time I turn any gadget on or read any blog or online or read any paper, it's telling me that there's some Armageddon about to happen. And that's not good for the soul. What was it Swamiji said? That by 2020, the second biggest killer is going to be depression? Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. So, so there's all this stuff going on, and, and being in the context of marketing directors, finance directors, and agencies, it is, is a tough one. Um, in the United States, there's a military academy, West Point, and they, I mean, our, our cousins in the States, and it's lovely to have you all here, uh, they, they do like a good acronym, um, and they seem to really live everything through acronyms, and there's a military, West Point has an acronym that defines the world as they see it, and that acronym is VUCA, V-U-C-A. We live in a VUCA world. Uh, and this has moved, the government, the US government has picked this up and said, yes, this is the lens through which we see the world at the moment. And VUCA stands for, uh, um, V is for volatile. It's a highly, highly volatile world we live in. And if you're in any doubt, as I say, just check out the Euro agreement they're trying to put together. And then check the markets, the stock markets. It goes up, we're all fine. Oh, it goes down again. Oh, we're up again. It's apps of the volatility. And that's on a sort of financial standpoint, a political standpoint, the Arab Spring and many other places. It's happening all around us, this volatility. U is for uncertain. Because of the volatility, I'm just not so certain anymore about what I can predict or can't predict. It makes planning incredibly hard. In fact, in a VUCA world, you could argue that planning and strategy almost needs to take a back seat. You know, I, I, I like to use 100-day plans. I find them very helpful, three months hence. But they're actually extremely unhelpful in today's VUCA world because, I don't know, if I knew what was going to happen in three months, boy, I'd be, I'd be very wealthy indeed. Um, C is for complex. The complexities around us uh, are, are extraordinary. And the A, therefore, becomes ambiguous. So VUCA is volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. And um, the global CEO of Procter & Gamble, Bob McDonald, who has a military background, in fact, he has adopted this vernacular uh, as part, of, or this acronym as part of the PNG vernacular, because the way he sees it and he describes it, he says, "Yeah, but the change in consumer behaviours and their relationships with brands has fundamentally changed through Facebook, etc., cetera, etc." Cetera. This all the stuff we've been talking about, the supply chain management, getting the right products to the right 
distribution in the right places at the right times. It changed everything, the way consumers are behaving. And then the retailer influence, the relationship with retailers and strategies with retailers. All of this is a VUCA world. So it's all about action in a way. Uh, but being in a leadership position right now in, in business, uh, and especially in marketing, it really feels a little bit like these guys did in green. Now watch the guys in green, okay? And I, just to context, the thing, it's, it's a rugby thing, because we just had the Rugby World Cup, and I know rugby isn't a big sport here, but kind of go with it for the moment. Um, hopefully we'll have sound. If we don't, I'll just move on. If we let fear into our souls, the game's up. The game's up. You know, I was really interested in Swami G's, he was a gag about the nagging wife, remember? And she was so brilliant at nagging that I see wonderment in that. The creative mind, the creative mind isn't immune from fear, but doesn't deal with fear. The creative mind takes problems, loves problems, and tries to find unexpected solutions. So I, I think there is something very exciting about this VUCA world from a creative standpoint. And just to continue with the acronym of VUCA, just to play that game for a moment, this is how I believe, we, well certainly this is how I see it, and this is how certainly most of my creative partners view it. The VUCA through the creative lens is vibrant. This is the most exciting time to work in advertising, communications, ideas, creativity, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. There's never been a more exciting time. The opportun opportunities are endless and the problems are, there's so many problems. And bearing in mind, we love a problem, that's good news. Uncertain becomes unreal. It's just unreal. You're kidding me, right? How did that happen? Stuff is happening, you just would never, you cannot use the past to predict the future in this world we're in right now. You have to stay in the now and just work with it and go with the flow. Complex becomes crazy. This is just, it's mad. It's crazy, but good crazy. Crazy doesn't have to be bad. 